Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host Jack and this is going to be a video tutorial of using Adobe Premiere Elements. Now let me first say if you are enjoying these videos by all means stop it by my website jackstechcorner.com and look at the DVD collections I have there. Um, right now I'm just building the Adobe Premiere library but there's a lot of great DVDs on Adobe Photoshop Elements to do a lot of your photo editing. With that said, let's go ahead right into this tutorial. Now I know a lot of you out there have been uh, already watched my first Adobe Premiere Elements uh, video on an Organizer and how to get the videos into the Organizer. So today we're going to start talking just briefly about how to create a new project. Now to create a new project all we have to do is on the splash screen here is just click on the new project button. There's also a few other options is open a project if you're working on something you may want to reopen that or to complete an instant movie where it's just basically a, you know a wizard and we'll look at that one time or another to see exactly how that works. But let's go ahead and create a new project. <clears throat> okay now a lot of people just accept the default here and give it a name we are going to use Noah football football and then I like to put the date on here then this share in or save in right here the save in I'm sorry uh, sometimes you get down a live broadcast you have to click the browse button and you're going to go into um, I like to put videos and videos, pictures and pictures. It keeps your hard drive a little cleaner and you know where everything's at. So we're going to go into my um, videos. And when I imported these, I created a folder in here called uh, Noah Fort Cherry Football right here. So now I can save everything together in one place. Click OK. And that's going to save my project the same place my video files are. Now this change setting here, make sure when you're doing your videos that you have this set up properly. In here I use a flash uh, based camcorder and I shoot in wide screen so I want to pick out the wide screen. You can also pick out the standard if you shoot in standard or you can use HD if your camcorder shoots in HD. I do a wide screen shot and mine is a normal standard definition camcorder. So just make sure that's set up properly and that does stay once you have that set from project to project that will stay there click OK alright once the organizer or the uh, editor opens up you're going to come in here and you're going to be in your organizer this organizer as I told you when you were importing your uh, videos is the exact same organizer that's used in elements and pull that See if we can pull that into the screen here. This is the exact same organizers right here. And what I mean by that is if we create an album in here, it's going to then show up over here in our Premiere Elements. That's why it's very important to get your organizer set up, folks. Uh, it makes finding things a lot easier. Now we're going to select an album. And we were working on this Noah football or Noah for Fort Cherry. That's what we're currently working with. And there we go. Now you're going to notice a few things here. You see these with these little uh, pictures on top of here. These are actual uh, photographs that we took uh, with this, you know, standard digital camera each one of these because they have a picture on them. These ones without are the actual video footage. And if you click on the video footage, you double click it, you'll have this little window where you can preview it. Alright, so you can preview your video footage and down here at the bottom we have what is known as the timeline this timeline is where your actual clips your video clips will get pulled into to actually create our actual movie and there's also a scene line 
Now the scene line is nice because you can drag the clips right in here and make basically a storyboard type of a video. Um, and the timeline is more for, you know, we're going to do some more advanced stuff in here that maybe you can't do in the, in the uh, actual scene line. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look for a still picture that I took and that I uh, did some basic editing on. It's right here. We're going to drag that to the scene line. And you see what it did right away was it put it in there for me. And now that is the opener for our, our actual video. So you can put still pictures and have those still pictures working alongside of your video. So it's really, really handy to do that. Or to have the ability to do that. Next thing we'll do is we'll go up here and we'll grab one of our scenes. Now these are definitely in the order that I shot them. Okay, what I mean by that, if you know, if you have a flash base or a hard drive camcorder, every time you hit pause, when you start it again, it creates a new clip. So that's how these come in the organizer's clips. We're going to pull that video down here. And we'll pull our next video down. Again with the next video. So as I say, when you're working with the scene line, it's very easy to drag and drop video. If you look down here, if you can see at the bottom here, it says confirming. So what it's doing, it's actually reading that video clip as it's putting it into the uh, actual scene line. And as it's adding it to our actual video here, these clips are adding themselves together. So it's on number four, number five. Now it's indexing it. It's confirming that. And what you want to do is once you get these in here, is we're going to come up here and click on this save button. But I like to wait until they're done confirming and indexing. And then we can actually click on the save button. Now you should do that from time to time. I have had this program crash um, just a couple times. But it gets pretty annoying if you get everything set up in here and then it crashes. So there's the beginning of it. Now, you can come through here and you can play any of these you'd like. If you click on here, it's going to adjust itself to the timeline or into the uh, video of where this clip is. Yes. You can play that back. Just like so okay we can also move through here and we can scroll through here you can fast forward maybe to a part you're looking for then hit play if you want to capture maybe a scene or something you've seen something uh, in the video and, and, or you remember shooting something you're looking for it you have a choice you can scroll through it right here now we're going to back this up a little bit. Click back on the picture. And we're going to come up into here now. We're done with the organizer because we have all of our video clips in down here uh, on our scene line. You can click on edit. And we click on titles. Now these are all different introductory type titles that we can use to uh, start our video off can actually use any of these titles here. We're not going to do that today. That's going to be a, uh, another uh, video. And I like kind of using the disk menus even more. And I'm going to show you how those work later on. But for right now, I just want you to get a basic video down. But uh, we do want to get a transaction or transition in here. Now, what a transition does is just a way to start the video off and to give it a little bit of a, a pizzazz, I guess, when it starts up. And you can use any one of these transitions. If you put your mouse on top of it, you're going to see uh, what the transition looks like. A would be your first picture. B would be your second or clip. There you go. 
All right, that looks pretty interesting. So if you click on this, you can drag it down and put it right on one of the transition markers. Now what's going to happen there is once we play this, You're going to see that it actually transitions into the video. That's how that works out. You can also, I found, change the size of your preview window. If you right click in here, you can go to magnification. Right now it's fit. You can drop this down to 100. Drop it down to 50 if you want. Seventy-five. Another warning I have for you is the video you're previewing in this window is, is actually a lower resolution of what you're going to get in the end. Once your DVD is done, it's going to be very high quality and it looks really, really good. Number 72, Nathan Yang will want to carry. Alright, so the last thing I want to show you is we have all this done is I want to show you what the timeline looks like. This is what the timeline looks like. We have audio down here. Here's our still picture right here. You can actually make that still picture, you know, sit a little longer. So we want the time to be a little longer maybe. When the video first comes on, you know, the, the grandparents or whatever, oh, look how nice little Junior looks, you know, he's he's really cute in his football outfit. Uh, you know, they didn't just see him take out four guys on the field. There, and then you open right up into your video. Okay, so the other part I wanted to show you here, just uh, really quickly, is how we would actually add some text on top of this you know when a when a video first starts opening up you should maybe introduce that video we have a great still picture here that we can use um, and if we look at this the way it flows the way this flows through and if you're watching your time counter here 10 seconds is probably uh, way too long to have a still clip opened up so let's take that still clip, shrink it down a little bit. Now you can see that still clip. There's our transaction or transition. All right. So stick, click on that still clip here and bring it back up. Slide this back. And when you click on a clip, that's the clip that you're currently working on. So we're going to click on this first clip. And you want to go up to Title, New, and we're going to go to Default Still. Okay, there's Still, which is a, which is a standard text box, Title. Rolling is such as Credits, and Crawling would be like left to right. Now we can add our text in here. Just like so. Click up here on the Move tool. We can move this. Maybe we'll put it down here. And you also have a lot of different text you can use over here. So if you scroll down through here, maybe you want to grab a different form of text. Something like that. Click on the Move tool again. Move it over a little bit more. Just like that. Remember to hit the Save button again. Now we can preview this. Just makes a little bit nicer introduction for your video.
All right, we'll make sure we save this again. And then in my next video tutorial, we'll show you some more editing uh, that you can do. But that's going to start you off and get you started with this video. And I know right away I'm going to get a lot of emails that says, Jack, you didn't show us how to save it. The easiest way to save these is saving it is saving it in a project file. Sharing it is actually turning it into a video. Um, I do most of mine on DVDs, directly onto a DVD, so I do disk. You can also do personal computer. You can send it out to a mobile phone, or a player, or a tape, like if you have a mini DV tape. Um, we're going to just say personal computer. Now, this is set to a preset of flash videos. It's great for posting on web pages. I don't recommend it for this. When you're doing your videos, either do MPEG playback. MPEG would be for uh, playback on PCs or burning to a DVD. The absolute uh, best looking video that I think so far is DV AVI. Um, it makes a AVI video, which is pretty much a, a standard type video, uh, and it looks really, really good. Down here we also have Windows Media, which you know by its own nature, Windows Media is actually going to uh, um, lower the resolution a little bit. It makes a smaller file size. And you have a QuickTime video, which just says using for a playback on a Mac. I don't understand why they put that there, because there's also QuickTime for the PC. So, Okay, folks, I know this video is a little long. This is definitely a very, very uh, tough topic to teach, because there's so much in here to do. Uh, I can't it's very hard to show you how to do any editing if we don't show you how to do any uh, getting the clips and stuff in. So hope you uh, hung in there with me. Hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. Um, and let me just go back up here and we'll do uh, DVI. It's kind of like I said, that's what I like. You can do presets to standards. Widescreen is what we did it all in. So I would do this as widescreen because that's how I shot it. Um, and once again, save in. Make sure you're going to save this somewhere where you're going to know. Like I said, we chose to uh, save it on the PC. You want to save it somewhere. I would suggest save it where all your media files are for this one. So go to My Documents. This way you have uh, a basic. A lot of people email me and say, Jack, what about a workflow? Well, now you have a workflow. Uh, this football folder is where we've been putting everything at. You can even do a new a folder in there called a, uh, AVI just like that that way you know that's where the video is going to be give it a title such as that once you get everything set up and ready to roll in there all you have to do then is hit save and now it's going to start doing what they call a rendering and you know yourself rendering takes quite a while I would suggest uh, go have your supper Turn your uh, computer monitor off, maybe go to bed. You can see estimated time here is over an hour uh, to get this video rendered down into one small video package. So folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial, and hopefully it's going to help you out to start using Photoshop Elements uh, Premiere. Uh, I do suggest when you buy, if you're buying the new Elements 8, buy the whole package. Get the Elements 8 and the Premiere 8. Um, I know that's definitely the road that I'm traveling on right now to... Um, use all these tools and use them together they work really really well and we're going to look at some editing later on down the road once again if you have time and if you're interested stop by jackstechcorner.com i would appreciate it even if you don't want to pick up anything right now if you're waiting for these uh, element uh, premiere videos to be released the donations definitely help it's going to help me to get the newer versions of the uh, software so i can start teaching those thanks again and i'll see you back here next time on jack's tech corner i'm your host jack and bye for now.